Hi everyone, I'm Allison Johnson at Windsor Regional Hospital and today we're going to learn how to use quick dams in the event of a flood. In 2017, flooding at the Met campus forced the closure of the emergency department and put the equipment in diagnostic imaging at risk. Now the goal of the quick dams is to protect equipment, limit damage in the hospital and limit the disruption to patients in the event of another flood. As you can see from this promotional video, the dams are used to contain and divert water. They are compact, portable, and ready to use. And just like a baby's diaper, they activate and expand when they get wet. The quick dams can be stacked and placed in different formations to quickly create barriers. At Windsor Regional Hospital, every department now has a supply of these quick dams and housekeeping has more in stock. Find out where they're kept in your area so you can be ready to use them in the event of a flood. Once you've made the decision to use the quick dams, think strategically about where you want to place them. John Faber, manager of facilities at Windsor Regional Hospital, is going to demonstrate. Thanks, Allison. As you can see, we have water coming out of the shower at a pretty good rate. Um, we want to have a strategy for what to do to contain this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is throw a couple of the quick dams down in front of the shower door to stop it from coming out there any further. Secondly, we want to contain the water. We know that down further down this hallway, we have diagnostic imaging where there's a lot of sensitive equipment that we don't want to have contacted with water. So we're going to take one of the quick dams and we're going to put it across this hallway to prevent the water from going in that direction. Now this won't contain all of the water, some will seep through, and if we do have a lot of water come through, we can add another one in place in order to stop it from continuing down this hall. Once we have this contained, we then want to divert the water to an area away from anything else. So down the hall over here, we want to bring the water out to shipping and receiving, and not down the hallway towards the electrical room, and the boiler house. So again, in this situation, we're going to block this door so that we divert the water down the hallway towards shipping and receiving and out the building. So again, we take it out of the package, we unroll it, and we're going to put it just strictly in front of the door. Slide it under the door, make sure that it's in front. And then our water is contained and moving in the direction towards shipping and receiving and not heading down towards the sensitive areas within the building. Right, so what we've done basically is we've initially stopped the flow of water out of the area that it was coming from. We then looked at what do we do in order to stop the water from getting to the places that have sensitive equipment, whether or not that's diagnostic imaging, major electrical rooms within the building, and then look at diverting the water from those areas and moving it to areas where we can get rid of it. Shipping and receiving out the doors of the dock, um, areas where we have drains that are functional, anything like that. So as you can see here, the area in which this dam has come in contact with the water has really started to expand. So this will stop probably close to an inch to two inches of water just with the one dam. And you can stack them. And then you can stack them as well. So. Um, if I got to a point where this, uh, the water started to come over top of this quick dam, I can put another one on top and do exactly the same thing and have it expand on top of it. And then of course, make sure that my wall's stable and put them in a way that um, allows them to, be, to even go higher. They're only gonna go so high, but we can probably get up to three or four inches of water in one, contained in one area using the, the, the quick dams. Thanks, John. So to sum up, know where the quick dams are kept in your department and be ready to use them in the event of a flood. If you have any questions, please ask a member of the facilities team. Thanks.